We all know how it is. We skip the gym one time, then it is so much easier to skip the gym a second time. And before you see, you haven't been to the gym in two months. <laughs> If you have fallen off of your workout routine, I know exactly how you feel. I was struggling to get back into a routine. So today I want to share five steps on how you can get back into your routine without burning yourself out. Also at the end of the video, I'm sharing my entire leg workout. If you need a leg workout to get back into your workout routine, stick to the end. Step number one is to start small and set realistic goals. So instead of saying I'm going to the gym six times a week, two hours every day, we want to start a little bit smaller because you haven't been working out at all. So maybe start by working out two to three times a week. If you can keep up with that, you can increase your workout days again. Every time you don't go, you feel like a failure. If you go three times a week because it is more realistic and you go every single time, you know that you can rely on yourself again and then you can still build it up. And you also don't have to work for hours and hours, you know, a 30 minute, 45 minute, maybe maximum an hour workout is more than enough. You can also say that you're going to the gym twice a week and then maybe you do a home workout. Maybe you go on a walk. Start with very small things. It's all about building momentum and then once you're going, you will see it will get better and better and better. Super important is to find a reason why you want to work out again. On the days where you don't want to go, where you're like, why? why even bother you have this reason when i was sitting myself down i was like why do i even want to go to the gym i found my reason again why i even started my gym journey back in the day and then it was so much easier for me to work out again i want to get fit i want to get stronger i want to look good but i also want to feel good the gym helps me so much with my mental health and also with overcoming things and being stronger physically but also mentally maybe i also missed wearing cute gym outfits. <laughs> Step number two is to find workouts that you enjoy. If you dread your workouts, you will find it so much harder to go to the gym or you don't even have to go to the gym. Maybe try something else. Maybe you want to go running. Maybe you want to do yoga. Maybe you want to do Pilates. I made the mistake that I wanted to copy other people's workouts because I was like, oh my gosh, she looks amazing. I have to do the exact workout that she is doing. The training style was way too intense for me. I didn't enjoy it so now I do less exercises and I also do the exercises that I want to do I mean there's always this balance of wanting and you know some exercises like hip thrusts I don't want to do hip thrusts but I do them because I want to grow my booty you know I want to have nice glutes <laughs> at the moment I'm not about that whole thing about going to failure I train hard but I train in a way where I don't feel super exhausted after my workout you know step number three is to create a schedule and then stick to it you have to pick specific days and specific times where you want to work out put it in your calendar and then treat them like a Appointments, like you would treat a doctor's appointment, like you would treat going to school, going to work. Make it an absolute priority to go to the gym. Also find a time that works for you when you go to the gym. Maybe you want to go first thing in the morning because you have more energy throughout the day or you want to go in the afternoon because you do not want to wake up early. If I go first thing in the morning, I have my gym clothes laying out and ready to grab. I'm not gonna spend time in the morning to pick out my gym clothes. You can also take your gym clothes close to work or to school that right after work or school you are going to the gym you don't go home and then think about if you want to go to the gym you are going I am so guilty of this I'm like okay am I going to the gym today I mean I wanted to go to the gym today but am I actually going to the gym today I have other things that I want to do today why why spend so much time thinking about it just go okay today is monday we have a leg day we're going to the gym i have my workout clothes ready my gym bag is packed there's no need to think about it for a half an hour <laughs> step number four is to focus on progress not perfection i know it is so easy to compare yourself to where you were before you took a break from the gym you have to let that go it doesn't matter how much weight you lifted before it's not it's not about that okay it's about moving our body doing something good for yourself focus on your form don't do any ego lifting listen to your body be gentle to yourself you're making progress okay you're going to the gym again celebrate your small wins maybe you can lift a little bit heavier maybe you can do an extra rep maybe you can 
and be on the treadmill for a little bit longer and celebrate every time you go to the gym. Going to the gym is absolutely amazing and if you go twice a week it is better than not going at all. We're all busy okay I know it is super hard to schedule in your workout on top of a million other things. Always remember slow progress is still progress not every workout is going to be perfect i have bad workouts just like everyone else but it doesn't matter because you went to the gym and you worked out and step number five is to build a support system if you can maybe tell a friend about it tell a family member about it so that they hold you accountable for going to the gym if you can go with someone else if you have a friend or a family member you can go to the gym with do that because it is so much easier to get back into that routine if you have someone that is like hey today we are hitting the gym i wish i kind of had that or you can share your fitness journey on social media film yourself hold yourself accountable posting your stories i personally always find it very motivating to share my journey with you here and i always love hearing when it motivates someone and i'm so grateful if it motivates you because this is why i'm doing this okay so if any of my videos ever motivated you to work out i'm happy if you follow these five steps you will ease back into your workout routine and before you even notice you will back into the routine that you had before i also think there is a beautiful thing about falling off your routine because you're more grateful for working out again because i personally missed the gym a lot when i didn't go and i don't it, it's more exciting again if you haven't been going for a while i believe in you this is your sign to get back into your workout routine if you have watched it that far give yourself time and don't be hard on yourself Okay, I know I'm someone who's very hard on myself, but I need to learn to be kind and you also need to be kind to yourself and celebrate every time you can make it to the gym. Don't be hard on yourself if you fall off. It is okay, it is okay, we all fall off. The most important thing is that you're getting back again, that you're going to the gym again and not fall off, don't go ever again and be like, oh my gosh, I'm such a loser. I haven't been to the gym this week. No, 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 no. We, we forget about what was, okay? We just, we just start going again. We just keep going and keep going. We're starting to work it off today with Smith Machine Elevated Squats. If I haven't been to the gym for a while or if I haven't done an exercise in a while i always like to start off without any weight just getting used to the movement again and making sure that i have correct form before adding any weights and then i like to start with a very light weight still making sure that i have correct form and then increase my weight the reason i'm doing this squats elevated is because you have a better range of motion i like to go into a 90 degree angle but especially if you do them on the smith machine and especially if you do them elevated you can go a little bit below that i have to be honest when i'm doing barbell squats it is very hard for me to go deeper than a 90 degree angle because then i can always feel my lower back or i cannot take as much weight and then i cannot really feel the squats in my glutes very important with the squats is to not have the bar on your neck have it a little bit below that because otherwise you will get neck pain shoulders back core engage you can hold the movement here for a second to make it even harder pressing back up with your heels there is no need to squeeze your glutes at the top of the movement the important part of squats is when you're going down into the squat and we're doing three sets of 10 reps next exercise is the leg press which is probably my favorite i don't even remember the last time i was on a leg press so i also started off without any weight i usually don't do that very important with the leg press is to really press your back against the bench we don't want to lock out our knees at the top of the movement make sure that your knees are not caving in they should be straight they should be aligned with your shoulder i personally don't like to go too close to my chest because i always notice that when i go too close i do get lower back pain i do this until i can feel the tension in my glutes and then i press Back up again you still do have a great range of motion if you are not super close with your knees to your chest we're doing three sets 
8 reps I really like to go heavy on the leg press so that's why we only need 8 reps for this okay next we have one of my favorite single leg exercises for really making your glutes burn you don't have to do the step ups on the cable machine you can do them anywhere in the gym you can do them a smith machine you can do them with dumbbells very important if you do step ups is to have something where you can hold on to to make sure that this movement is very slow and controlled i personally like to use a bench for this movement but you can also use a platform you can use a box whatever is available and whatever you have at your gym you want to slowly go back down until you can feel that stretch in your glutes and when you can feel that stretch you want to push back up again with your working leg and your working leg is the leg on the bench and not the leg on the floor i personally don't do a lot of weight on this exercise because it burns so much even by not taking a lot of weight so i would start off with a very light weight see how it feels and then you can still work your way up instead of starting with a heavy weight not having correct form and not feeling the exercise where you should feel it we're doing three sets and eight reps of each leg bonus tip is to always start off with your weaker leg my weaker leg for example is the right leg so i always make sure to start off with that one because otherwise this leg can barely finish the exercise and for the last exercise we are doing dumbbell rdls i like to switch between dumbbell and barbell rdls i feel like both have their pros and cons we're doing three sets 10 reps you don't have to go super super heavy it is the last exercise but really focus on your form focus that you can feel the movement in your glutes and in your hamstrings we really want this to burn our glutes all we need to do is to push back our hips have the dumbbells really close to your legs you want to really squeeze your glutes push through your heels when going back up again and at the top of the movement there is no need to squeeze your glutes either you want to keep that constant tension also very slow and controlled movement making sure that your core is engaged if you can feel your lower back on this exercise don't go too low because then your back is taking over and not your glutes and your hamstrings are working only go as far as you can feel that stretch and then push back up again this is also going to be different for everyone so this is why you shouldn't be looking at someone else how deep they are going only focus on when can you feel the stretch if you found this video helpful please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more workout and fitness videos and share it with someone who also needs to find their way back into a workout routine leave me a comment what is your biggest struggle or what is your biggest tip to get back into a workout routine i would love to read that and other than that thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next video bye